it's a weekend after the duck opening, so uh, just decided to go the following weekend, a bit more productive, uh, with times and bag limits and so forth, So uh, and the number of days you can hunt, so going up for four days, so uh, pretty frothing, and yeah, just uh, thanking the Lord that um, yeah, I can spend that uh, time away uh, hunting and just being in his presence as well. So looking forward to a great weekend and hoping to bag a few ducks. So uh, let's see how we go. Yoo! Don't, catch, uh, don't count your ducks before they are shot. <laughs> All right, praise the Lord. sorted behind us there he is uh, just gonna set up camp when I get back so uh, heading over that way about a K in the canoe and uh, just gonna sneak up and see what's on the water at, uh, first up and then uh, yeah set up me hide and all that I've got all my uh, camo gear and stuff so um, yeah hoping I can score some straight away which would be awesome you Praise the Lord. Even though it's cloudy, it's pushing in 20 volts, which is uh, awesome. Um, got the King's Big Daddy Deluxe all set up with new little ground sheet as well. Firewood, got me a little fire pit all dug out. Um, canoes over there. having a coffee and a bit of a relax, might have a read and uh, head off probably about uh, 3 o'clock I think. Yeah so the morning uh, hunt I stalked up on uh, quite a few few ducks on the, on the um, water. Um, on, yeah put in a, a really talk and uh, but they were probably about 40 to 50 yards away they were just too far I was waiting for them to kind of come a bit closer but they didn't and then uh, a few of them took off so I had a couple of pot shots at them and reloaded had a couple of pot shots at some others that were taken off and um, yeah just missed them so I spent the rest of the morning just setting up all my decoys and um, yeah, all my hides, so all that's really good. And we should be all sweet, ready to go for the Arvo session. So, so we're just um, back for the Arvo shoot. So it's about three o'clock now, and um, all set up and again, and um, just uh, have to wait for the birds to start flying around again. So hopefully there's a few guys out and around the Morley Swamp area that um, are shooting as well and just get the birds flying. So just get a cup of going and uh, have a paleo bar and sit and wait. Signing out. You. Um, real s slow start to this morning. Um, had two early on come into the decoys and um, 
they're pretty sure I got one of them. Uh, it was still uh, fairly dark, but it um, uh, looked as though he dropped like right up in the marshes, um, you know, probably about, I don't know, 500 metres away or something. So, and notice there's a um, bit of uh, water up, up around that way and a few ducks were landing up that way yesterday. So I'm gonna give it, uh, it's, no, it's, I think it's about going on eight o'clock now. So gonna give it, um, 15 more minutes or so and um, nothing's happening at all no no um, ducks flying around uh, there's no one else shooting I don't think I haven't heard any other shots so whether that's because there's no ducks or I'm not too sure but um, gonna go for a bit of a wonder and um, yeah just see whether he's actually come down just like finding a needle in a hay stack um, so uh, hence having a dog mm, might be on the cards maybe yeah um, so yeah gonna go for a wander up there and just see uh, if there's any ducks uh, sitting up there as well so but uh, otherwise she's pretty quiet alrighty signing out Good morning it is that ditto um, went for a walk right up to the marshes up there and um, nothing up there, nothing sitting on the water or anything up there and I uh, had a look for that duck that I thought I'd got uh, but yeah, like I said, it's um, like looking for a needle in a haystack, so to speak. So, um, come back and uh, put a bit of more stuff around me hide just to make it a bit more uh, camo um, concealed and pretty bored <laughs> had a cuppa um so it's pushing 8 30 ish or 20 to 9 only going to give it to nine o'clock this morning and pull the pin um heard about another place which i passed um oh, it's probably at least a good half an hour away um, but would mean that, you know, I have to um, pull the pin here uh, pretty quick, get all set up, uh, ready for the other shoot down there. And it's shooting out of, out of the canoe, so not making a hide or anything like that. And um, as much as that would be kind of pretty interesting, uh, apparently there's lots of ducks down there that some guy was telling me. Um, it's not all about that, um, so kind of got a bit of a theory at the moment that um, weekend might uh, produce more guys shooting around the place which will get the birds moving and hopefully they'll move over this way. Um, but yeah, in the quiet time, um, you know, I come away shooting also to spend time with God, so I'm just going to use this time that God's given me. Um, to spend with him and read his word and just um, pray about a few things in uh, you know direction and in our new ministry, distance seas ministries, uh, working over at Nias and um, yeah, just some uh, guidance. So um, yeah, so even though the hunting's not um, you know too productive, um, I'm pretty sure my God time will be. So. Um, Praise the Lord, and uh, yeah, I might go back and uh, put the fire on because it's a bit chilly, and um, do a bit of a cook up, have an early dinner, and then come out. The birds didn't start um, flying around until about five, quarter past five, so um, yeah, I'll work on about getting here about half past four or something like that set up, and we'll take it from there. All right, signing off. You. So we're just um, frying up some um, onion and some bacon and some salt.
salt and pepper and a bit of garlic. Just uh, made the sauce there, which was uh, pre-mixed, which I bought from home, of um, soya, soya sauce, poissy, mint sauce, uh, oyster sauce, and honey, and Worcestershire sauce. So, um, two tablespoons of each and then I made up 250 ml of traditional gravy just with boiling water three tablespoons in that so that's that, that mix there and um, I'm going to fry up just to um, soften and caramelize it a little bit just chuck a bit of bacon in there because uh, yeah, everybody loves bacon. Yeah. So just um, I'll take that off the heat soon, and then I'm just gonna brown the. Um, or one, I'm just doing one of the ducks actually. Just gonna brown um, one of that one, one of the ducks there, and um, save the other one for. I've got another mushroom. Which I want to do with cream and mushroom soup instead of the um, uh, kind of Chinese sort of style of that. Um, and of course, I'm going to put the mushrooms in. Alright, on and out. So, just got some uh, oil and butter, just um, heating up there in the pan, and I'm just going to. Um, here it is, duck. Oh, the nice buttery and juicy time. So this uh, duck I've had soaking in uh, milk overnight. Oh, just about eat that like that. Beautiful. Place it in the nice Oven, camp oven, pour our mixture over. Open it up a bit too. Oh, is that smells like meat too? Okay, we'll chuck some of these mushrooms in. This little baby in there, the camp up. So, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. for the uh, golden syrup damper so let's see how she turned out all right so let's see how this oh. look at that that looks pretty damn nice to me nice with some butter and a coffee Uh, afternoon, uh, day two, 
Arvo Sesh all set up. Um, big full tummy after beautiful duck. Um, what would I call that? Maybe a duck. Mushroom duck in gravy. Some of that. In a Chinese gravy. Uh, but it was beautiful and uh, some golden syrup uh, damper. So big full tummy. Uh, so, just come from the Arvo Sesh, 4.30, um, nothing at the moment, just got here though. So, the birds didn't start working yesterday up till about quarter past five, so, um, so we get the jump on them and we'll just see what happens. Uh, so, hopefully snag a few more. Awesome. Catch you later. Seven and we got the first one. So um, a few more birds this morning, a few more shooters. So um, which is good. And um, glassy uh, morning this morning, so which is awesome. And um, yeah, just had a few come in early and miss them, and um, had three come in on me decoys. And um, yeah. Nailed one and had a shot at the second one, but missed the second one. So, um, so yeah, just dropping. You praise the Lord. Um, yeah, just chopped up a half an onion and uh, a bit of bacon. Oh, it's got to have a bit of bacon. And uh, yeah, just browning that up and uh, just going to chuck it in the uh, camp oven. And just going to brown the duck up and saute a few mushrooms as well. And we've got the good old Campbell uh, cream of mushroom. going to go in there and Chuck it on the fire. So we'll report back later. Such a big heart, such a small animal, but um, we'll have it in for a bit of flavour. Awesome. So that's what she looks like in the pot. So um, a bit of a stir around. A bit of water in there. shoot got the um, mojo out there working winds dropped off a bit and it's turned a little bit north easterly um, and it's got a bit muggy it was raining before and threatening clouds over there but um, yeah she's a bit muggy so uh, it's looking good there's a couple of ducks uh, on the marsh here when I first arrived and about four swans so that's a good uh, indicator I think and um, just as I was setting up 
uh, three just flew directly straight over and it's just gone 3.30 so um, things are looking good praise the Lord alrighty signing out session and very quiet again so um, just had a couple of single birds go across but way too high and over to the left or the right so um, it's um, probably about quarter past seven at the moment so we're going to give it to um, about eight o'clock going to start packing up going to take me a while to pack up Um, so yeah, very quiet, but uh, still keep me eyes open till eight o'clock. All right, signing off. You. Always a way uh, to pack it up, and um, what happens? Duck lands on um, me decoys as I've uh, packed all my gun away and everything so eh never mind always next time all right signing out so just heading back um, probably a bit after 10 30 uh, morning shoot uh, wasn't that uh, successful either didn't have to get another shot off uh, so a couple of birds up too high just uh, so yeah, bird numbers are definitely down uh, this year, probably due to the drought, I guess. Uh, that's why the bag limit was dropped from 10 last year down to 5, 4 on the opening weekend. So, um, But apparently opening weekend there was a lot of birds moving around and stuff, so um, never mind, that's hunting.
forward to our um, yeah, next hunting trip, maybe.